Hey, what's up? I'm Styler. In this video, I will show you how to do a normal backup and a full re back backup using the MTK Droid Tools and SP Flash Tool. And uh, before you can do this, you of course need to have full root access on the smartphone. And uh, to get this, uh, please check out my other video about rooting the 4.2 or 4.4 KitKat on MediaTek devices. You find that on my channel. So first of all here, I have a phone here and um, I'm going to do a normal backup of this phone here. And uh, some phones, you can't just do a normal backup, you have to do a full re-back backup. And uh, let me just show you now. I will connect this phone here first of all with the USB. I will turn on the phone. And of course you also need to be sure that the um, developer option is uh, enabled on the phone. So the first thing I'm going to do is to install the drivers. And um, you need to install the PDA Net Plus drivers and the MTK65 USB VCOM port drivers. And I will of course provide these in the video description, but let me just zoom in here so you can see. So the phone is connected here with the USB cable and uh, let us go into MTK Droid Tools here and open up. Sometimes you also need to accept something on the screen here, so just accept that this computer is trusted. But when you see this, actually you can see here we have the uh, root found on the device. Click here, you can see you can't uh, press the backup yet because uh, you have to first click on the root and you will say yes here. You use the root on the phone. You will see something going on here on the device. So after some time you will see that this one turns green and we have root shell here. Then you go to the tab here. Now you can click on the backup and uh, now it will just do a normal backup of the phone. You see here the process here in green, so you just wait. So uh, one thing I must say about the, this kind of backup is that if you do this backup, it's not a complete backup of the phone. This is a normal uh, backup of, of uh, the system files and boot and recovery and so on. But uh, I will uh, later in the video show how to do a full read-back backup and um, I prefer the read-back uh, backup because this is more complete. But anyhow, if you're doing a backup like this, this is uh, just faster and still it's a good backup. So this process can take a really long time depending on how fast your computer is, but you just have to wait. So uh, after some time and um, it will finish, you see this. If it, it will ask if you have to pack the backup, you say no. So after that, the task is complete. And uh, then you go to the directory where you have the MTK drive tools. And uh, inside here, you will find something called backups. And uh, in backups, you go into the backup here. You will find all the, the files from the phone. So uh, this is a complete uh, backup. And uh, now, we go back to the MTK Drive Tools and uh, here you then click on to prepare blocks for Flash Tool. You go into the directory and find files.md5. You click here and now it will uh, convert the backup here so it will work together with the SP Flash Tool. So when this is done, you see here copying is complete. You go back. And we find here, let me just show, we find here inside, files to flash tool. And uh, here we see some few files and these you should use together with SP flash tool. And uh, in SP flash tool, you just load the Android uh, scatter file here, txt. So uh, this is how you do a complete uh, normal backup with MTK Droid Tools and um, sometimes it's not possible to do a backup uh, like this and uh, I will show you another phone now and show you how to do a full re-back backup. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to do a full re-back backup and uh, here I have the Yumi Zero and uh, the file system on this one is a little bit different so when you are going to try to do a normal backup on this one um, 
you won't be able to, to back up in the same way. So just let me first of all connect the cable here. And let me again open up MTK Droid Tools. And you see here I have to enable, so I just say OK. And after that you see the info here. And uh, again you click here on Wood. You say yes. And it may ask here, and you say here, access yes. After that you see something is going to be installed yeah. And you just wait until we have here the green square and wood shell again. Then you go to wood, click backup. And uh, here you see that you get this warning here. System and user data won't back up to continue. So here it will not uh, work in the, the normal way to do a normal backup. So I say no. So what I do now is to go back here. I click here on block maps. I create here a scatter file, so I will make a new directory here it's, uh, called Yumi, and uh, inside the Yumi directory I will save the scatter file. Okay, so now I'm going to open up SP Flash Tool. So here I have the SP Flash Tool. So I'm going to click here on scatter loading and inside the Yumi directory that I created load the scatter file so you see here and uh, then we also go to read back so I click here on add double click so I will save the ROM file inside the Yumi directory together with the scatter so save and um, here you have to click and um, input the length of the, the read back. So I will go back here to the MTK Droid Tools directory into the Yumi again, find the scatter file, open this one with Notepad. I will search after the, the cache, and uh, here I see this, and I will copy the address here, copy, close. So the, the scatter file could also look like something like this. One moment. A little bit. So you see here we have here different files, the MBR file, we have here EBR1. So uh, in this um, line I will copy this, minimize, I will insert this here, okay, and uh, click OK. So this means the start address will be from zero and the length is where it will uh, read until and stop so I don't uh, do a backup of the cache and the user data and uh, after that I actually just disconnect here the phone and uh, I will turn off the phone so now it's turned off I will click here on read back and then I will here with the turned off phone I will hold volume down, sometimes you just have to plug in um, the cable and it will start from itself or you plug in the cable without the battery and then you insert the battery but uh, on the Yumi Zero you have to hold volume down while you insert the cable and you can see it's red, I release here the button and then I just wait so what you see here is that it's reading now. So this is how you start the read back. And uh, the read back is simply that it will read the internal ROM uh, out from zero until uh, the address you set. And uh, that way you will get a complete backup of the phone. So uh, when you're doing the normal backup, you will not get a complete backup like this. So now I just have to wait until this blue bar here in the bottom is on 100% and then I will proceed. So uh, when it finished, it will uh, show you this green uh, circle and uh, this blue line is on 100%. So now you can 
close this one and uh, you can close the app. If you still have the um, MTK Droid tools open and it's red here, you just need to turn on the phone again. So you turn on the phone with uh, the cable connected and uh, maybe again you have to accept here and you will see the info and uh, then you just go to the tab root so this time you choose the to process file one from SP flash tool so you go into the directory Yumi you choose the one and then you wait and here you just say no cancel and wait again so uh, now you see the task is complete it says here so um, you can now close the MTK Droid Tools and uh, we go inside the MTK Droid Tools directory inside the backup directory and inside here we will find the Yumi Zero backup so uh, here you have the complete uh, backup and this, these files here are also ready to use with SP Flash Tool and uh, if you should share this uh, backup remember to, to remove the nvram.bin because you don't want to share your email number and um, that's it how you do a full read back backup with the sp flash tool and mtk droid tools so as told before this is the most complete backup you can do uh, but this one is without the the, the cache and the, the user data because uh, you don't normally want to share these uh, with others. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.